POLICE HAVE RELEASED THE IDENTITIES OF FOUR OFFICERS WHO FATALLY SHOT A WOMAN. THEY SAY POINTED AT A GUN AT THEM AT FIRST. Uh, Tracy Wade was killed following an eight hour standoff at her home in Okalona. WLKY's Tim Elliott spoke with police and neighbors. He joins us now live from LMPD headquarters with the new details. Tim? Well, Rick, those four LMPD officers were helping the U.S. Marshal Service at that home in Okalona yesterday. And police say from the very beginning, it was clear that the woman inside did not want to go to jail. LMPD investigators continued to collect hey, Josh, evidence Thursday here? morning at this home on Roaming Plains Court. The home belongs to 39 year old Tracy Wade. Wade was shot by police on the first floor late Wednesday night. On the second floor, all three windows were broken. Glass was scattered on the roof below. Police say it's unclear what happened there. Wade was eventually taken to University Hospital where she died soon after. Here at LMPD, we want to send out our condolences to the family and all involved parties from last night. Last week, a warrant was issued for her arrest on two felony probation violations. Wade was found guilty of fraud, identity theft, and forgery back in 2011. On Wednesday afternoon, police, along with the U.S. Marshal Service, attempted to serve the arrest warrant. The task force engaged a female subject inside the home, and she indicated she had a weapon and a small child. Authorities backed off, set up a perimeter, and called in a SWAT team. And then they have sniper or whatever. I said, "Oh my God, this is so scary." My girlfriend came back, and she said that the whole subdivision was blocked off, and that. One of the officers told her that there is a woman with a gun. Jerry Guzman lives right across the street and saw the situation unfold outside his front window. Oh, I was terrified for my daughter. Uh, I have a nine month old, so um, yeah, it was a scary feeling. Eight hours passed, then just after 11, authorities made their move and entered the home. And then I heard, like, da -da 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 -da, you know, like, like uh, shooting. It was hard to like say how many exactly, but there was quite a lot. I would say right around the range between like six and eight, maybe. Police say Wade pointed a gun at them, and that's when officers opened fire. Now here's a look at the four officers who have been placed on administrative duty with LMPD. Sergeant Eric Culver, Sergeant Paul Humphrey, Officer Brad Harris, and Detective Michael Simpson. Also, the 18-month-old son who was inside that house at the time of this incident was not injured. He is currently being cared for by family members. Also today, when we were out at that home, the scene of what happened yesterday, the husband of the woman killed came back home. He politely asked the media to leave the area and respect his wishes during this very difficult time, he had no comment. Reporting live from downtown, Tim Elliott, WLKY News.